When the limits of our skill and ingenuity are put to the test, what we've done in the past may not prepare us for what lies ahead. We begin along a river in British Columbia, Canada, on the afternoon of June 25th, 1993, where Dave Sandylands was brushing up on a skill he hadn't used in more than 10 years. I think because Wade had never done it before, we weren't quite sure what to expect. I don't think Dave had done it for a while either. Although Waverly Steinbaum had never flown before, he wanted to use Dave's hang gliding kite when he went on vacation the next day. Dave had agreed to teach him how to use it. I decided it would be good if I went up and did a couple of circuits before Wave went up. How did it feel? Good for the first five seconds. You know what? Wave's wife, Trish, had reluctantly agreed to help him. I was 22 weeks pregnant at that time. Really, the only reason I was there was because they needed a third person. The second time, Dave shot up really quickly, kept gaining height, went all the way to the end of the rope. It felt like 10 seconds, I was uh, at full 500 feet. The view up there was spectacular. I was trying to get the feel for the winds on what strength they were at that altitude and just the handling of the kite again. Get down to two lengths. What do you do? For the uh, hit it, just flop up and down. Perfect. Thank you. You're going to be a father soon. <laughs> I didn't think that this was a safe thing to be doing. That's still pretty high. But Wave was really excited about it. He was always getting into something new, you know. All right. Give it a yank. Perfect. OK, it starts to go off to the right. Push the kite to the right. It had taken me approximately two weeks of training to get to a comfortable level where I was actually flying by hand. And the instruction that I was trying to give to Wave was insufficient. We rushed too much. Don't forget, two legs, left the kite. That's the signal. Okay. Hit it. I had to drive the boat so that Dave could give Wave instructions and spot. and he was going off in the wrong direction. And the kite starts to go up. At this point, I'm wondering if he's in control or if he's not. as close as we could, not knowing what was going to be under that kite. When we continue. I was in nurse mode, but I was scared. We were just best friends and lovers, and I don't want to lose this person.